The Friendship Book Written by Mary Lynn Ray and illustrated by Stephanie Gregan Sometimes being friends begins all at once and sometimes it takes a while to get acquainted but then as some small knowing grows you start feeling that feeling that comes with having a friend as if there's sunshine in your pocket or inside you. A friend is someone you like to be with and they like being with you. A friend to sit with, to do things with, make wishes with, and just be quiet with. Friends share their secret wonderings and their secret places. They share lunches and stories and can't hold them in laughs. A friend can seem exactly like you. Then you don't really have to ask, do you? Or say, me too, me too. Because from the start, you almost knew something made you the same. Or a friend may seem very different at first, but once you're friends, what matters is just being friends. Friends don't have to be alike in every way or have to always agree. And sometimes they get mad, but it doesn't last because they're friends. When you get to know a friend, you can tell how they are feeling. So if you see they need some extra sunshine, you reach into your pocket and say, here. Or maybe you say nothing. You're just there. That can be enough when you're friends. A best thing about a friend is being together. But if friends must be up far apart, they don't forget each other. And that makes far away feel smaller. There are old friends and new friends, and always room for more friends. When you don't have a friend, you wish you did, then it can help to remember that a tree can be a friend. So can a rock you like to sit on, or a lake, or pond, or grassy hill, or some green, mossy place. A dog or cat, or nuzzly horse can too. And somewhere, there's someone who's also waiting to be your friend, the way you're waiting to be theirs. Anyone might be a friend, you just don't know yet. And even though you can never tell when a friend will happen, being friends could begin when you say hello.